Hello. How's your day? Fine. How's yours? Uh, good. I'm just from the courthouse. The judge pushed the hearing to Thursday. I see. How have you eaten? You know how you get carried away with these cases and forget to eat. I eat salad for lunch. Salad seafood, babe. You should have had something heavy, you know? Like ugali. So that I sleep in the courtroom? No, thank you. Speaking of, what would you like for dinner so that I can tell we're ready to prepare? I know I promised to cook for you dinner, but I'm swamped. <laughs> you mean dictate while uh, we're ready cooks? No. How dare you? I can't have pick here. Okay. As long as the food includes meat, I'm good. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. That was my wife, Michelle. When it comes to women, niliangukia kwangukia. <laughs> Other women got nothing on her. Everything is bliss except for two anomalies. My terrible, completely intolerable, shameless gossip of a mother-in-law, Trufena. The day she moved in was the worst day in my almost blissful marriage. This house is very small. Tony, you ran out of money. This is the best you could build. Mother, you have not been here even for two minutes and you're already criticizing my house. Since that day, I had a change of heart. Anyway, today will be no different. If I knew the storm bring at home, I wouldn't be so eager to get there. Waridi? Waridi? Hey, Waridi? Yes, madam. Waridi, what's wrong with you? How long did I ask for that glass of juice? A few minutes ago. Hmm. A few minutes ago. Do you know I have diabetes or you want to kill me? I can care less. What did you say? I said that uh, um, I was a bit careless. Go bring me that glass of juice. This house girls. Hello? Yes, boss, how are you? This is Waridi, our know-it-all house help. Everything is okay, I can't complain. No, no, she's not. Do you need anything? You know how much your service, eh? I'm in the kitchen. Yes, I'm all alone, no need to worry. She and Trufena have a somewhat love-hate relationship. No problem. In fact, I'm going to put on a black outfit so that no one will see me leave. This is just between me and you. I think she handles most of Fena's tantrums more than anyone else. Yes, yes. Sasawa. Now, I'll make sure your wife and that annoying mother-in-law of yours do not find out. Okay? Hmm? Aya. Poor girl. How stupid do they think Michelle is? Wait. Wait until Michelle sees this. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Toto. How was school? Nice. Look, I got an award. I aced my test. Wow. My baby Sasha. She is the sweetest thing I have ever seen. I like this. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. Jessie. Hi. Where are your manners? Aren't you going to say hi to Nana today? Then there is my boy Jesse. This boy is the brains of the family, like his papa. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi. He is the man of the house when I'm not home. You know, Kayla punched me in the car. Oh. And it's because she's mean and an idiot. I heard that you little tweet. Hi, Nani. This is Kayla, my firstborn. She is not my biological daughter, but I love her to pieces. She's beautiful. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Miss you. Oh, good. Oh. Hey. These two fight like cats and dogs. Be nice to each other. 
I'm always nice grandma. Ah, uh, I know. That's why you're named after me. Yeah, unlike some bimbos. Who are you calling a bimbo, you stupid boy? I'm more shocked that you know that word. <gasps> now you're gonna get it. Give me that finger again. Ever since the hit puberty, Michelle and I have had to sleep with earmuffs just to get away from the noise. Give me, you little naughty. Let go. Let go. It's mine. Um, palaka is ojikoni. That is my know-it-all sister-in-law Paula. She stays with us and helps us with the kids while she's in campus. Sao, madam. She is a complete pain. Hi, mom. Hi, Paula. Is everything okay? You look agitated. No, 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 no. I'm fine. She's also one of the smartest people I know. Don't ever tell her I said that. This is my cousin John. The coolest guy you'll ever meet. Believe it or not, this guy is a living lady magnet. Hey, babes is here. I need to get dressed and impress. He's also the best friend a man could ever ask for. Baby, can you see your home, eh? I'll give your love some kiss. Where the hell did you come from? You can make this prayer whole bottle of cologne. I see now to smell good for you, baby. OMG, I win some alternate universe where we're one thing, am I? Ah, for you now, buddy. Oh, really? Yeah. You? Uh uh, it's such a power. Oh my, she is fine. Never gonna happen. We're gonna get to Nambali. In your two box. In your two box. Change, I'm coming. No, Michelle. Come here first. I need to change. I've been raining. We need to talk. Okay, Shasha, take this to my room, please. Here you go. Mother, what is it? Are you feeling sick? No, I'm fine. It's about Tony. What is wrong with Tony? He's fine. But something happened with him for sure today. I don't understand, Mother. Is he okay? Yes. But after I tell you what I'm about to tell you, he will not be. I don't understand. Michelle, you know I've never liked him for you. I wonder what good you saw in him. Let's not mention his mother. I am tired, and you keep on talking about these things. I mean, we have decided we're not going to talk about it again. I've always suspected that he's a shady and a very crooked man. My suspicions were confirmed today. This shameless man is sleeping with your mate. Aya, unacheka. What is so funny? Mom, you must be so bored. My husband is sleeping with my maid. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> I have proof. This girl has been receiving mysterious phone calls and disappearing. I never suspected anything until today. She might be having a boyfriend and she's very shy to talk about it. Nirifikiria Ivo. Baka nikasikia kiongea na simu leo. She was laughing sheepishly and brushing all over the face. Then Tony told her to meet him in secret. Mother. Wait, wait. She double. Mother, don't you think you're exaggerating a little bit? I'm not. But to be sure, I borrowed her phone. Where is that phone? See, for yourself. There are texts between Tony and her. Suspicious texts. What the hell? Why are you sneaking up on me like that? Uh, the last time I checked, this was my house. Then why are you sneaking in, come on, Wizzy? None of your business, plus <laughs> I don't even have to explain myself to you. Yeah, whatever. My God, you can be so nagging sometimes. Thank God I married the same one in your family. <laughs> Trust me, if you're my husband, definitely put poison in your food. Trust me, if you're my wife, I'd eat it. Oh, really? 
Here's a glass of wine. Kill yourself. <laughs> anyway, is my beautiful wife at home? Um, who do I look like? Your secretary? I look like a chocolate. <laughs> yeah, wherever. She got in home a while ago. Mm. Be careful. She's in a mood today. Not for long. Okay, fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. This can't be. Tony can't be doing this to me. I can't believe it. See what Rufen has done to my poor Michelle. Mother, you must be wrong. This, this can't be happening. Michelle, are you waiting for your shameless husband to come and kneel before you and tell you, oh, my sweetheart, I've been cheating on you, but now I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and read the writings on the wall. I'm waiting to hear this from the horse's mouth. She probably thinks the worst of me. I have to fix this. 